morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time, so when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first. So I uh, won't be long-winded. Like you only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me, my family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever, there's too many. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change a thing. Love you all. I'm through with this false persona. I can't do the Mr. Goody Two Shoe shit any longer. Y'all check y'all hoes at the door while I'm putting it on her. Feel less responsible for my actions. When I say I'm on the edge and these niggas just keep harassing. Killing people I love, man, this shit just a crime of passion. I know this isn't me, boy, stop asking me what didn't happen. I've been talking to my demons, y'all really thought I was capping. Now y'all scared cause you found that I'm really about all the action. Don't do the pretension, all of my problems for instance. Tugging the cheek over tension, nice that we can barely mention. I would say I moved on, but I know that shit hard to convince it. I sleep at ease when she pull up like a hard to convince it. Never been harder to fit in. I no niggas, no pot to piss in. Needing assistance, also no niggas ran plays with pistons. Both all wisdom. I sleep in silence, knowing everything good with the profit. I checked the summary last month, made 11 deposits. Everything is big up on the boy, feel like Christopher Wallace. Strong guard the game, who gon' stop him? That nigga too brolic. I fed enough of they twisted logic, that shit retarded. I question everything. I made the wrong choice between a paddock or a wedding ring. Hope you catching everything. They get goosebumps when I spit like when another scene. I'm just going to keep it in team sport. Yeah. I think he's had the greatest career in team sports history. Uh, and, Skip, I, and I, can I just go back to my lifetime? Because, Skip, I don't remember those 50 Yankees when they won 10 championships in 12 years or the 21 or the 30 Yankees. I can't, and, and the Canadians and, and those teams, the Blackhawks, Skip, the Red Wings. Skip, I, so okay, I, fair enough. I'm just going to yep. go back to what All I can right. remember, what I can tell you about. I think he's had the greatest career as, as far as team sport of any individual because of the finality of this one game. In most times in a series, the the best team 90% of the time will win a series. You're right. In football, the best team doesn't always win. No. The team that plays the best on a given day will normally win. And Tom Brady has played the best on a given day more times than anybody else in team sport history. Greatness. Mm. Greatness happened? Greatness. Really? You got a chance to witness greatness at its, high, its highest order. Mm. Skip, ah. Uh, what word do I want to use? Was this the crescendo? Mm. Was this the zenith? Mm. The apex? Mm. The denouement? Mm, that's a good word. I like <laughs> oh, that word. That's a good man. Hollywood word. The goat's gone. The goat's gone. The goat's gone. Hey, yo, Tom Brady's up out of here. Shout out to the big dog. The big goat. Big Brady. Big B's in the chat. <laughs> yo, shout out to Tom Brady. Tom Terrific. The Superman, the Clark Kent of football, even though Luke Keekly looked just like he should play Superman. Like he should play Superman. Shout out to the GOAT, man. Tom Brady, bro. The GOAT of GOATs. I don't really hold him above Jordan because Jordan is my guy. Jordan, Cole, Curry, they just move me in a different way. But aside from that, just keeping it based on championships because I'm a big... I Listen, I'm all about them rings, bro. All about champ. All about chips. Can't even speak. Brady's a goat of goats, bro. Brady is absolutely the greatest football player to ever play. I understand all the different things, uh, positions, and all that type of shit. But when you just rank a career without a name, and you know how to compare careers, when you just look at the stats, you look at the accomplishments, Tom Brady is without a shadow of a doubt the greatest football player to ever play the game. And I saw Brady's video. And Brady, no, thank you, my guy. Thank you. All right? I know athletes like to, you know, suck up to us fans and tell us that we mattered and yada, yada, yada. And I'm pretty sure we kept you going. 
cheering for you and things like that. That's a surreal feeling, having a whole bunch of people cheer your name. That's surreal. I can only imagine. However, thank you, Tom Terrific, because you had to wake up early, eat that nasty ass shit you be eating. You know, had to put on a smile and be a bet. You had to be a professional at every step of the way. You had to live a certain type of lifestyle when you the face of an NFL team and the face of the NFL for as long as Brady done been the face of the NFL. It's responsibilities that come along with that. You got to always be training. You got to always be ready. Do you know how hard it is to be considered the greatest football player for the last, what, decade now for Brady? That's tough. That's tough. It's a responsibility to come with that. To be an Aaron Donald, a Ray Lewis, a Ed Reed, a Tom Brady, a Peyton Manning, that's not easy. Aaron Rodgers, to go in day after day after day and train to be better than everybody else, to be better than your competition. You don't you you miss holidays, you miss birthdays, you miss uh anniversaries. You, you 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 risk marriages to be the greatest of all time. So no 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 don't don't thank us, Tom. Thank you. Because only a few people, a handful of people not gonna have to be in your situation to understand your situation, which is man, it's hard to be as great as you were for as long as you were, and to put on the line what you were willing to put on the line every single day of the week. See, an ignorant person gonna say, Oh, it ain't like you worked a nine to five. But I would say he did something that's harder than working the nine to five. So he had to be perfect in the spotlight at home when he was talking to the media on the field and with his play. They had he had to train harder than everybody else because now people saying in the media, he got teammates telling you how great Brady is, how much he trains. So he can't just he can't have an off day. He can't be tired. He gave the world so much greatness for years. And look at how people talked about him this year because he missed training camp for different things. You would think that somebody who gave the world so much greatness in return could be given a break. But he wasn't even given that. Do you understand how hard it is to be perfect for so long? The ups and downs, the bruised up bodies, the, the fractured relationships, just to be great for us. And I'm all, listen, obviously he wanted to be great for himself too, but he wasn't doing this just for him because he ain't just watching his own tapes. We watching him. He had to be great, not just great enough that New England Patriot fans knew he was great, not just so the Bucks fans thought he was great. He needed to be great in the eyes of every single fan base out there. He wanted to leave, no doubt. And so I understand there's going to be people out there who try to shit on Big Brady. Who gonna try to shit on Big 12? Oh, look at how he went out losing to the Cowboys. Listen, it's a brutal sport. And most of the time, the greats just do not get that opportunity to go out like a Peyton Manning, like a Ray Lewis, like a Michael Strahan. Most of the time, you go out like an Ed Reed, lost in the shuffle. Most of the time, you go out like a Drew Brees. Should have went out prior, probably two years earlier. Most of the time you go out like a Brett Favre, body done been broken down and you got to be stretched off. That's usually how the goats go out, how the great ones go out. Brady could have left two years ago. He won a Super Bowl. He said, I'm not done, though. So I don't care that he lost in his last playoff game to go out. I don't care that he finished under 500. Brady could have easily went to another team, stacked the deck, and said, I can keep going. If he lost, he could have did it again and did it again. And where does it stop? It's an addiction. When you is as great as Brady is, you always believe you the piece that could get us just right. I, you know, I didn't did it this year, but I can do it. It's an addiction. So he's so great. He was willing to say, I'm done. He done put his saddle up. He done hung it up, buried it. He told his old horse that our riding days are over. He done parked the car, taken off the title belt and put it in a glass case. The goat's done. 
And while some people would like to shit on him as he leave the game, I just want to tell you, Brady, I appreciate you, my dog. Because, see, I appreciate greatness. I live to see these men and women be unbelievable. Like Candace Parker just signed with the Sparks. I mean, just signed with the um, Vegas, uh, the Aces. That's big time. Greatness. Ah. The way Shannon feel about LeBron, that's how I feel about this man Brady, bro. Gave the world so much and asked for so little in return. Thank you, Brady. Ah, greatness. This dude, Tom Brady, is one of the greatest living Americans, bro. Who gave the game so much and asked for so little in return? Ah, greatness. I appreciate you, Big TB, Big 12s. I mean, this motherfucker got Hov said. Think what? Well, I can't even remember the bar right now for the pound cake. Uh, somebody made millions. Somebody made millions. Beans too. If he wasn't in his, I can't even remember the bar right now. Forgive me, Hov. But that's what Brady said. Bill made b- millions. AB made millions. Other motherfuckers could have made millions too if they wasn't in their feelings. Brady's like, bro, I'm where the ring's at. Who made... Nobody was talking... Bro, this dude Brady's on another level. This dude Brady's on another level, bro. Get this man his respect. You gonna miss him when he gone. I already miss him. That man is unbelievable. I appreciate that I got to see that type of, that level of greatness. Can you imagine living through a sports era and not having somebody that's that great? That's why Roman Reigns is necessary to wrestling. That's why Kurt Angle, I mean Kurt Angle, that's why The Rock, Stone Cold, they were necessary for wrestling. Triple H, greatness. You need that. You need those great Laker teams. You need those great Boston teams. You need those great Cowboy teams. You need Tom Brady. You got to have something to shoot for. You got to have a measuring stick. If LeBron wasn't so great, how would I know how great Steph Curry is? I just did that because I just wanted to mention my guy Steph Curry. The God. You got to understand, without that type of greatness... Who, who, who? Like, bro, it's a merry-go-round. You motherfuckers like saying anybody in the NFL can win it. But for a long time, anybody couldn't win it. Because of Tom. Ah, greatness. That man Tom on another level. On another level. Listen, bro, I'm a big Tom fan. Big Tom fan. And it took me a long time to love this man. Because, listen, you got to understand. I used to hate him too. He used to beat Baltimore all the time. And I'm like, why us? But then I realized something. Y'all gotta excuse me, but it get quiet like that for a couple seconds. That's because I'm currently still smoking on that Joe Burrow pack. (laughs) But you gotta understand something, bro. With somebody as great as Tom Brady, bro. I can't even remember where I was at. I can't even remember where I was at. Lost in the sauce, smoking on that Joe Burrow. Yeah, I saw Pat Mahomes pops talking about smoking on that Joe Burrow pack. I ain't even know you could light up in the um first off, bro. Hold up, bro. Okay, two things. I did not know you could light up in one of them press boxes like that or one of them sweet boxes or whatever you call that shit that he was chilling in with his wife and his uh, daughter-in-law and all that shit. Two, can y'all please stop saying smoking on a pack when y'all is smoking cigars? Bro, you not smoking no burrow pack if you smoking. Now, listen, I'm not hating on him for saying it because I understand you had to say it with all that crazy shit that people in Cincinnati was talking. However, when you say I'm smoking on that Joe Burrow pack or I'm smoking on that Scentsy pack 
or I'm smoking on um that Joe Mixon pack. That's because you smoke weed, my guy. You get a pack of weed, a sack, you know, you buy weed, a pack. That's what, come on, man. Y'all just, bro, don't use things just because you think it's funny, okay? Or just because it fit your scenario. Use things the way they are supposed to be used, okay? Y'all make me sick. Like, people who be smoking cigarettes at black cabals be talking about some abo ab high. No, my guy, say you're on a nicotine high, okay? And that's not, you're probably not even high. Your brain and your lungs and shit just fried right now. So they, they trying to recuperate. You dig what I'm saying? Bro, I know somebody who smoked, bro, buddy lungs gotta be as black. Is is black as black Air Force Ones, bro. On me. Bro, bro, back to the GOAT, bro. The God. Ah, oh, greatness. Tom Brady. Bro, do you know how hard it is to beat some of the dudes that he had to beat on a yearly basis? I I know people say, oh, he played in a bad division. Or I'm not talking about just his division. The AFC still had Peyton Manning, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Listen. I know the Pittsburgh still is happy that man retired. They was happy when he left and went to uh, Tampa. And I know Tom got this contract to uh, go into the booth after he done. I'm interested to see who they're going to pair him with. Tom's going to be great in the booth. I hope they don't give him a whole bunch of Patriot games. Because... Why the fuck would Tom Brady want to be sitting at some fucking Patriot games watching Mac Jones play? Like, if they're playing against Baltimore or Buffalo or, the you know, Kansas City, complete different story. You got the Patriots going up against, you know, the Jets. I'm pretty sure Tom cool on that. You know what I'm saying? Unless the Jets go get Aaron Rodgers, which that is about to be a hell of a battle trying to get Aaron Rodgers now. For the simple reason Brady just retired. The ramifications of Brady retiring just got so, so intriguing. Because now, any team that wanted Lamar really want Lamar. Because now it is no secondary prize in the Brady. Now teams that wanted Aaron Rodgers really want Aaron Rodgers. Because, and you take away the teams that you, say it was people out there who thought Brady would have wanted to go to San Francisco or the Jets, right? I mean, not the Jets. The um, I said the Jets. It was other people who were saying the Raiders. Well, now all those teams is out on Brady. Aaron Rodgers. I don't think San Francisco going after Aaron Rodgers. I didn't think they was going to go after Brady, even though I thought that would have been a smart idea to do for one year. Actually, it would have been something they looked into doing because Brock Purdy is a UCL injury, and he probably won't be uh, playing next year. I'm very interested now to see who all go after Aaron Rodgers. I think, if anything, Kyle Shanahan and that team would rather sit on it and wait to see if Lamar Jackson became available. I think Kyle Shanahan would rather go all in on a Lamar Jackson before he went all in on an Aaron Rodgers at this point because he know if he get uh, Lamar, he'll have Lamar for a long time. Now, the thing that'll be interesting is if Lamar Jackson get hurt next year, would Kyle Shanahan be scared to go get Lamar because he done dealt – injuries done – defined his time in san francisco basically so that would be in in one missed throw by jimmy smith i mean jimmy uh garoppolo but now that brady retired you gotta imagine every team that thought they was gonna be on brady D tampa bay every all those teams want aaron Rodgers now all of those teams are gonna want to get aaron Rodgers. i can see tampa bay trying to go after lamar jackson also for the simple reason is they'll say to themselves he from florida it's no state income tax. He can be up the street from his mom's or his from his crib and all those type of things. He can live in Florida. I can see all that. But Miami can offer him the same thing. The interesting thing is, is let's say Lamar Jackson do become available. Because I believe if Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens don't get a contract worked out, I honestly think they'd rather try to trade him than give him an exclusive franchise tag because of what it would cost. I think Tampa Bay would end up trying to go after Lamar. And I don't know. Now, what would be interesting if Baltimore just went out and tried to trade for Mike Evans. That would be interesting. But 
nonetheless, it's interesting to see what Tampa Bay go. What, what do they do now going forward? And now it's very interesting that head coaching situation. You don't have an OC now because you let Byron, Byron left, which go, who was already a good OC before he got Tom Brady. I'm very interested to see what direction you go as uh, the uh, Buccaneers organization. But the Jets, now they in on, I mean, I think people was thinking that they was going to be leading on the Aaron Rodgers thing anyways. But I still truly believe Aaron Rodgers is going to end up with the Raiders, him and Devontae. But everybody, hey, Aaron Rodgers just probably came the most prized commodity in the offseason because Lamar Jackson haven't officially become a free agent. He's still from I, Lamar Jackson is still on the Baltimore Ravens. So I'm going to speak on it as if he still is on the Baltimore Ravens. I, every time I talk on Lamar being a free agent, it's if he. But Lamar, Aaron Rodgers, while he is still a Packer, there's a lot of people out there who believe he is going to be traded. So he just became the hottest commodity in uh, the offseason if you need a quarterback. And if you're an NFL, like if you're a championship team, that's a quarterback away. You legitimately need a quarterback, meaning I'm not talking about you got a good defense. I'm not talking about you got a good offensive line or a good run. No, 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 no. You got the receivers. You got the line. You got the running game. You got the coaching. You got the defense. All of your team need to be ready, and you just need to be a quarterback away. Because if the only thing you don't have is a quarterback, then what have you been spending money on? You should either have failed at uh, a draft pick that was high at the quarterback position or like the Colts just run it. And people keep saying that the Colts should be in on Aaron Rodgers. I don't know why in God's green earth Aaron Rodgers would ever leave the Packers to go to the Colts. The Packers are a better team than the Colts. The Colts have no weapons. Why would you leave Green Bay where you perceive to have no weapons to go play with the Colts? That would make no sense. So I, the Colts, to me, they should be trying to get a hit on a draft pick in this draft at the quarterback position. I do not believe that there is a quarterback in the NFL that would want to go play for the uh, Indianapolis Colts right now. I just, why? Why would anybody want to go play for that team right now? They have refused to go get a receiver, a proven receiver, over the last couple years. I understand how bad their quarterback played on Ben, but it would have helped if you went and got a receiver and wasn't relying on T.Y. Hilton for as long as you was. And then just going and get spare parts from all these places and then hoping receivers in it. Michael Pittman done been in the league for about three to four years now. Excuse me. If he ain't hit, he ain't hit, my guy. So I don't know why any quarterback with an options in their right mind would ever want to go to the Colts, bro. It just makes no sense. That's a team that's going to have to get a quarterback through the draft or somehow they're going to have to fall into a whole bunch of talent, proven talent or guys that seem to be like, oh, yeah, that's definitely going to be a Justin Jefferson type. Then they'll find a way to get a quarterback. But right now, who in the hell would want to go to the Colts, bro? And before the video, before before we end this Tua a tongue of Iloa, 34 days after he entered the concussion protocol, has just been cleared uh, in the concussion protocol. Wow. This tells me he probably should not have played after that uh, second concussion he caught this uh, last year also or this year. Also, this tells me if Tua catch uh, a concussion next season, that could probably be his season next year. So if, you, if I'm Miami, I'm doing everything in my power to try to trade for Lamar Jackson. Uh, and also, speaking of uh, Lamar Jackson and Tua, Two guys who would have made the Pro Bowl. Neither of them did. Well, they are alternates, but they didn't show up. They're not going to show up. So <clears throat> Tyler Huntley, dude who threw two touchdowns years this year and like eight interceptions. He going to be in the Pro Bowl. And listen, no hate on Tyler Huntley. It's just a wicked system, baby. Because... <laughs> Derek Carr will also be in the Pro Bowl. He was benched. It's a, it's a wicked system, baby. But with that being said, I appreciate. Shout out to the GOAT. Tom Terrific.
Big Tom, Big TDs, Big Brady, Big 12, Big TB12, that guy, P P P pistachio, avocado, ice cream eating ass boy, the goat, Tom Terrific. With that being said, I appreciate y'all for joining me on another episode of Kicking It With Saint. Tell somebody you fuck with him. Tell somebody you love him. Saint out. Oh, no, 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 not Saint out. You could be anything in the world. Choose not to be as dumb as me, but choose to be kind to somebody. Saint out. I got the moves like hot sauce. Little mama taking the top off. I'm laying down getting topped off. After this, she know she getting knocked off. I know she loving the money. So I keep on thumbing and thumbing. She says she horny when she's taking shots. So I keep them coming and coming. Now I'm putting dick in the tummy. Scoop her up like I'm raking the sums. You would think Shotty Red Track. The way that she running and running. You getting dumber and dumber. You out here chasing the bone. After she finished from giving me dome, the Uber is taking her home. <laughs> Tight. Tight.